The 49ers have been fighting for every yard in these past few weeks. Kicking it off with our headline topic here, one of the biggest stars of the offense, Elijah Mitchell. In the post-game presser, you heard it. You heard it from Coach Shanahan. You heard it from Jimmy G. You heard it from George Kittle. All describe Eli's ability to get those additional yards. He's he's getting the tough yards. He's always falling forward. He competes for every yard. He gets hit by the first guy, but he doesn't go down. Just throwing out a couple of stats here to, to react to. 133 yards on 27 carries with a broken finger. 82 of those those yards after contact. What was your impression of Elijah Mitchell coming out of this win? So I think that everybody kind of got sucked into the whole mini Mostert thing, right? And what I mean by that is even Raheem Mostert had tough yards and he was able to run between the tackles at times. But I think what I come more, I, I'm more impressed with is those tough yards, right? In the Rams game, they didn't really run outside zone. He was in between the tackles and that screams bell cow, somebody that you trust and who's going to get tough yards. You're, you're usually not where you find crevices. It's usually just three or four. Just keep the thing moving. You know, Elijah Mitchell is fast enough where when you get him outside, he hits those holes and he goes. So he's adding layers to his game. It's not, it's a funny thing, Rob. When rookies get reps, they get better, huh? <laughs> like, like, Imagine that. It, it's insane. So, I mean, in the beginning, there was a little bit of concern in terms of, OK, is he not seeing the holes? How is his vision? Is the speed not, you know, not there for him right now in terms of game speed? But it's all clicking right now. And I think the level of trust Kyle Shanahan is showing, 31 touches for a rook. Now, I understand that it is a little bit out of necessity at this point, right? Jeff right. Wilson is still working his way back from the injury, isn't exactly hit the ground running as we thought he would, especially in that Jacksonville game. Um, Trey Sermon, who is now going to be out for a while, obviously did something to somebody, and that's why he's not playing. <laughs> um, you know, you lose Raheem Mostert, and then Jermichael Hasty is injured. So I, I'm not certain that this was the plan, but right. when when he's playing this well, it's hard to justify not giving him the ball over and over because he is securing it, and, and he's getting those extra yards, and, and he's icing the game. He helped ice the game, basically. If Robbie Gold makes that kick, there is no need for that last drive. Nobody cares, anything like that, but he helped ice that game. And I think that the 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 identity of this team is we're going to run the ball. You know we're going to run the ball, and you can't do anything to stop it. And Elijah Mitchell right now is the engine of that. He truly is the engine, and and it's like he is the V8 of a 2018 Dodge Demon that's putting out 808 horsepower. I mean, he really is churning. It, it, it's impressive what he has been able to do so far. This is his fourth 100-yard game in just seven starts. And by my research, that trails only Matt Breida, who had five total 100-yard games underneath Shanahan in his time with the 49ers. Obviously, it's a pretty balanced uh, number of 100-yard games. You, you really have had three-headed monsters in years prior. This, this seems to be the first year that someone is truly trusted with the entirety of the carries. To your point, though, it feels a bit necessary that even if you didn't trust Elijah, the stable of running backs ha has been slimmed by injury and forced the 49ers into this position. But what a position to be forced into, right? To have discovered this sixth round gem. I know that you have another favorite among rushy, uh, rookie rushing leaders. Got to practice my speech there. But we do have Najee Harris with 708 yards in the, in the one spot over 11 games. Elijah Mitchell coming in second with 693 yards and Javante Williams with 568 yards. Now... I, I have seen uh, uh, your your comments on believing that that Javante Williams deserves more carries. Certainly, there's no shortage for Elijah. But what a steal! What a value to have stumbled across this in the sixth round of the draft. It, it's really just another Bobby Turner miracle in my book. Absolutely, and and again, I'm glad that you brought that up because now I can verbalize what you know. Tweets have a certain character limit and That's everything right. as well too. And I thought I was pretty clear in the fact that I was saying I love what Elijah Mitchell is doing. I think what he's doing is great. But what I was talking about with Javante Williams is is a guy who leads the league in broken tackles. He mm. splits with Melvin Gordon right now, and he's played in more games than Elijah Mitchell, which is why throwing up that number of yards in in many games as Javante Williams is 
it doesn't tell the story, right? And that's why, look, no slighted Elijah Mitchell. This is the first time that there has ever been a bell cow in this Kyle Shanahan offense. Right. It is never. That's why when somebody brought up, well, that's why there's no, well, why if it's like that and the system is so good, why is there no thousand yard rusher? That's because there's five guys that carry the ball. Like, like, <laughs> like literally in 2019, Tevin Coleman had a game where he had five touchdowns. Raheem Mostert gets hot. He takes it over at the end of the uh, the end of the season, and 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 so on and so forth. So with Javante, what I'm looking at is similar yards per carry, 20 less touches, 20 more broken tackles, mm. and the highest uh, broken tackle missed tackle rate in the league. And for the people that say, well, you know, if he was better, he would take it over. Well, the Denver Broncos are paying Melvin Gordon, which I think was ridiculous. You don't give running backs a second contract. That's ridiculous. Um, you, they are paying Melvin Gordon. So have him to have him sit on the bench and give it to Javante Williams is just a gross allocation of money. So and and one more thing to, to Melvin Gordon's credit, he's actually playing very well this season. And he that's another decent thing. running back. Yes. Yeah, he's yeah. playing well. Like there's no and he's playing well enough to hold off Javante Williams. So look, again, none of that was there to disparage Elijah Mitchell. It's just I think what we get carried away with the rookie thing is, is the same people that are telling you right now that Mac Jones is the best rookie quarterback is he is right now. He is right now, but there are going to be other people that will throw their hat into that ring. We're going to find out what Trevor Lawrence is next year. We're going to find out what Justin Fields is. It's just Javante Williams shows me too many things right now while he's in a split that if he was ever given 25, 30 touches like he was Elijah Mitchell, you would see similar, if not better production just because that man is a huge man and he's a beast. So, I mean, that was it. That's my piece on that. So again, appreciate just, it. My, just my opinion. Just and, my opinion. And I think that it's important for people, you know, Twitter is not a very reasonable space. People don't act reasonably when they're on that website for whatever reason or app, however you access it. Showing my age there with, with the, the website <laughs> reference. But so, yeah, you know, it is just saying one guy is good is not necessarily a slight against the other one, because to your point, I mean, Elijah Mitchell is absolutely no slouch. He's he's facing eight man boxes on on, on yesterday's game. Sixty percent of his carries yesterday were into that eight man box. So to me, I just love the fact because Kyle had said before that, well, you know, when you're facing that six man front. You can't necessarily run into it because you're going to face a lot of third and 12s. But it was following a game that on a first down into a six-man front, they ran Elijah Mitchell and they gained nine yards, right? So he has that ability to break tackles. I think he's a very special player and just one hell of a value that the Niners got there.